Hello again, it's Brian. Melissa and Waffles, hi. Today we're gonna to talk about road conditions and type of areas that we drive in. So we'll start with a question. Hmm. <laughs> Would you rather drive in a big city or a big canyon? A big city. <laughs> because most of the time, they're, I'll tell you why. Most of the time the roads are flat. And um, I just don't like that big canyon up and down, up and down. It scares me. Uh, I'll do it, and I have done it. But if you gave me the choice, you want to drive through here or oh, here or this big canyon, I would choose the big city. I'd rather yeah. just sit in the stop and go traffic. I'm glad because <laughs> my my answer is the canyons. <laughs> I'd much rather drive those big sweeping tight turn canyons. For me, it's kind of fun. It scares me. The, the, the cities drive me crazy, so I'm glad she likes city driving. Uh, sometimes you can plan that out, but other times you can't. Every and I once have to in do a while, the big she canyon. has to do the big canyons, yeah. and I have to drive through Nashville during traffic. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it varies. But it, it, overall, it, it's. Uh, these trucks handle either canyons or cities pretty good. But. And Waffles doesn't really have an answer. Yeah. He likes it all. He, he, he does whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask the next question. Okay. What is your least favorite weather condition out of snow, rain, or wind? Um, I'd probably say wind. Uh, the snow doesn't bother me too much, but if it's snow and wind, that of course isn't isn't very exciting. The rain doesn't bother me. I actually kind of like driving through the rain. Uh, it's, it's kind of fun for me. Yeah. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like seeing the big thunderstorms and lightning across Nebraska. That's always pretty cool. Yeah, we've seen some good lightning storms. Yeah. That's fun. I have the same answer. I don't like the wind either out of those three conditions. Um, and we're talking like 40 yeah. plus um, you know, big, big winds wind. when you're like, ah, I get a little scared. Um, but yeah, the, truck, really, the truck gets a rock in a little bit, but yeah, we, <laughs> if it's super windy, you're going to probably see a flashing sign on the freeway that says light loads pull off. Right. Uh, and you'll probably want to follow that. These trucks aren't maybe quite as top heavy when they're light because they're all connected. Uh, we don't have that issue of an empty trailer. trailer behind a tractor trailer trying to, you know, flop over. Um, so I don't think we quite, you know, fishtail it as much as we see we see bigger trucks in a wind. But the wind is still our but least favorite. And we've been through some big rain where your wipers are going as yeah, fast as they can. Yeah, you still can hardly see. Fog. <laughs> um, but still, the, uh, the wind is my least favorite. Yeah. Okay. Um... What's your favorite region of the country to drive through? Oh, this is really hard for me because I'm kind of a natural tourist where I just am like geeking out the window all the yeah, time. Yeah, you're like, the day driver. Oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> and even if an area is not my favorite, I try, because I'm in it, try to find something I like. But my favorite areas are just really I love driving right in the middle of the country where it's so green and um, so I would say like you like the heartland the heartland, yeah, heartland. I like the heartland <laughs> That's where um, it's at. those that area for me is just really pretty um, I also like upstate New York That's beautiful upstate New York um, anywhere that's green though yeah how about we, you? What's we your, live on the western. What's half, your so favorite? We, we like getting somewhere where it's not the desert. <laughs> what's your favorite? Uh, being, being the night driver, it all kind of looks the same. <laughs> yeah, that's I drive during the day. I, uh, I do get to see some pretty cool cities at night, and that's kind of fun when you're going through Chicago or you're passing through uh, different, you know, Nashville or something. Minneapolis, and Minneapolis. Was pretty at night. Cincinnati is really cool. Uh, there, when you when I see the big cities at night, that's that's cool. Uh, but for me, it's it's where the smoothest roads are since I'm the night guy. Uh, so I like driving through 
Florida, Kansas, or, or the kind of the more empty states where the speed limit's higher and I can just cruise on a smooth road fast. Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming, uh, Wyoming and they except in the wintertime. Uh, but my, my most favorite is Florida. Maybe it's because I was born in Florida and I'm a Floridian by birth. <laughs> But uh, I, I like driving through Florida and the, the real southern routes. We just came from uh, NASA in um, Cape Canaveral, Florida to Houston. And, that's an easy, uh, that's nice a, drive. That's an easy, nice, smooth drive and, until you start getting close to, to Houston. To Houston. <laughs> <laughs> we delivered in Houston and got the heck out of there. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a um, least favorite? least favorite um california <laughs> i lived in california for a while so i'm allowed to say that it's mostly because the, they're, they're not trucker friendly so sorry californians out there but i do not like driving through california yeah <laughs> they basically anyways the and, then, and there's like lots of traffic <laughs> going 20 miles in the city takes an hour yeah so yeah. traffic um was your least favorite? My least favorite, not to anyone who lives in these states, my least favorite is West Virginia. West Virginia. Because oh, of the canyon. The yeah. canyon. And yeah. Uh, Montana. Yeah, big canyon in Montana. And, and, and then it's just hard to be in New Mexico and Arizona for yeah. too long because it's so dry. Yeah, the deserts are hard. <laughs> <laughs> but those are my least favorite. But again, I always try to find something positive. Yeah, yeah. And it's not permanent. You're only there for a day or two. Yeah, that's true. If, so, if I am driving through something hard, I'm always like in the mindset of it's just an hour of my day yeah. and it'll be over. It'll be over soon. So it's all good. Well, uh, on that subject, uh, when you're in, when you're in the deserts or the extreme temperatures, there's a few things you can do to be prepared for extreme temperatures. Uh, in the summer, it's super buggy. Uh, your windshield gets pretty plastered with bugs, and you don't always have a chance to uh, pull into a truck fill station and clean your windshield well it would take forever because right when you clean it yeah, 30 minutes it later it's up right plastered again. again so we carry a spray bottle full of bug remover um, you could just spray down your windshield and let it soak for a little bit uh, and then rinse it clean with your windshield wipers and it gets it off pretty good uh, that's a that's a good saving trick when you get a big bug splat right in your field of vision right because you don't you can just stop at a rest stop you don't have to yeah. pull off the freeway yeah so that's a good tip bring some bring a spray bottle with some bug remover or like a degreaser or something uh, or even soapy water would probably work pretty good yeah it's a good in between the uh, filling up yeah yeah at the gas stations in the winter of course you'd want a snow brush. oh yeah in the winter keep a we just got one of those big long extendable snow brushes from Walmart because uh, you got to reach pretty high up on the windshields of these trucks but we have woken up in Chicago with a couple inches of snow on the windshield so you'll want to have a way to get that off during the winter time right uh, and I didn't really feel like the winter driving was that bad yeah. we went through northern states we all and all over and we didn't have any trouble of course we ran into um, snow and ice yep. and each state some states have salt like that they put on the roads and some states have sand that they put on the roads yeah. and sometimes you're delivering to more remote places so the roads aren't as cleared as yeah. much <laughs> one time we we went to deliver in Bend Oregon and we're taking these state roads through the canyon that was probably one of the scariest drives I've ever been on they don't was, use salt. They, 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 <laughs> the snow, the snowplow had it been. It was like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Um, luckily, I locked the locking diff on the dual axles in the rear and took it really slow. These these trucks are kind of like tanks. 
Um, and luckily I was asleep. And luckily she was asleep. <laughs> um, but if the snow is super bad and you're on the interstate, uh, you know, the road's probably going to be closed. That's one of the nice things about uh, being with FedEx is there's a really easy way to communicate with dispatch with the C-Link. If, if, if there is a road closure, you can just send a note in or of course you can call. Um, and they don't want you driving if you don't feel safe. So yeah, it's up to there's your no discretion. pressure if yeah. something's happening, then you don't feel safe. You can, yeah. you can say that. Yeah, it's uh, if, if, if you're not feeling safe, you can call in and say, you know, the roads are too bad are, are too bad or too dangerous. I'm going to wait till this storm clears or, you know, wait till the next morning uh, and I'll push the load out in this industry that happens. Um, Florida, when we were in, in Florida during was the, the, second, the second big hurricane that came through. Yeah. Um, uh, we just went to the middle of the state, found a, a truck stop, yeah. and waited there. One, for the weather conditions, and two, because of the weather conditions, none of the businesses of where we were yeah. delivering, they weren't open either. Yeah. So we just had to wait it out. Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes weather will, will delay you, um, but of course they're prepared to work with that. It happens. Uh, same thing with traffic accidents or uh, construction zones. Um, so it's kind know. of funny having lived in, lived in different states. Um, I've heard people say, oh, oh yeah. my state's, my always, state's under always under construction. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> But they all are. The truth is, all the states yeah. are always under construction. They're always under construction. We see cones everywhere we go. Every day, <laughs> be prepared to go through a construction zone. Yeah. The nice thing is, you get to come back, you know, months later and see, oh, hey, they did actually make that road better. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing, though, that is a, in those construction zones, of course, you got to go slow and follow the speed signs. Yeah. Um, but in that, they always make it so narrow yeah. that you do have to be really cautious and careful. You know, sometimes people are, are behind you wanting to go faster. Just just ignore them and stay safe. You don't want to be pushing up against one of those uh, concrete barricades or knocking over cones. Um, also, we do see a lot of police officers patrolling construction zones. And of course, we all know fines are double. So. Don't let a construction zone scare you. Just take it slow. Maybe even put your flashers on and, you know, drive five miles an hour under whatever the posted is. Just take it safe and it only lasts a few few miles, 10, 15 miles, 20 miles at the most. So, yeah. But that's something to be aware of, construction zones. Um, and then we came from, I came from a state that didn't have toll roads growing up oh, yeah. so that was kind of a new thing <laughs> for me but we do go on quite a few toll roads i actually am a big fan of them yeah. now because they're not anyways, they're nice and they it's have like the, the middle or the, they have it more convenient for trucks yeah. and cars just to pull off get a starbucks yeah and be or dunkin donuts and be yeah. back on the road yep so, especially the more the eastern half has a lot of toll roads with really nice like rest stops on the toll roads. Yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania is full of them. Pennsylvania, on the Pennsylvania Ohio, Turnpike. New York, yeah. Florida. Yeah, so those are nice. The there is a toll toll pass uh, in the windshield that exam covers and uh, and makes sure everything's working with uh, FedEx will Cover it'll, the it'll say in your load details. Uh, how much of the tolls they're covering. Uh, we've never had an issue with tolls. We've never been deducted out of our pay for tolls. Uh, it's always worked out it's really well. It's included in so. the load. Yeah, it's included in the load. The pay for so that. So don't, don't think you can't take toll roads unless you're in, what, maybe Atlanta where it says no trucks allowed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but most of them are, all the trucks are allowed. Yeah, and we just have the pass, so we just go through. Yeah, it's super through. easy. There's toll roads. The other thing, um, watching out for the other guy. Of course, yeah. in your car, you're always doing this too, kind of a defensive driver. Not that you're being, um, you're just watching out for yeah. the other person. Defensive driving. I, I mean, I've seen um, drunk driver that yeah. I really had to 
in Dallas on the freeway. So watch out for. <clears throat> um, of course, there's numbers you can call in and report that yeah. too. Yeah. But in the meantime, you're avoiding them. Yeah. Um, uh, just uh, aggressive drivers. Now that it's summer, we've seen a big increase in RVs and trailers. Yeah. And they don't often they don't know, know how to tow very well. Where their their <laughs> end is, so they'll kind of like almost swipe you a little yeah. bit. Just other trucks uh, not being in their lane. Yeah. They always have to watch out for the other guy. Yeah. Always be keeping your eye out for. And it's not always them somebody. either. Cars too, weaving in and out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Get a get a dash cam. Uh, FedEx recommends having dash cams. Nobody provides a dash cam so that's on you uh, as the driver um, I got a pretty nice setup where I have a full view of the front and I also have a camera out the corner um, so anyone trying to whip around me and possibly uh, cut me off would be on video um, having a dash cam for some of the reckless drivers out there who don't respect us truck drivers and how big and heavy and slow these trucks can be um, is super beneficial to protect yourself, uh, you know, insurance claims or whatever might happen. So if you don't already have a dash cam or you're thinking about coming out and doing this uh, expediting, um, a dash cam is, is it's a good investment, um, you know, they're kind of self-explanatory why you might want one. So yeah. <laughs> we have one and we have, we have had a truck driver crash a few cars up in front of us and it was on camera. Um, we weren't involved in any way, but if it was just a second or two sooner, we would have been. So, yeah. um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. As you go through the country, you'll see different driving styles in each yeah. state which where, is kind of funny where do you see the most aggressive drivers or the most reckless drivers well <laughs> we've, we've looked this up and we've looked it up. utah <laughs> believe it or not our home state has the worst drivers like, really bad uh drivers yeah yeah the, the big cities of course um yeah any big city yeah. i mean it's kind of funny actually like Atlanta is funny. Yeah. Texas in the cities, uh, it's like a racetrack. Yeah. Texas has the nicest people. We lived there for a while. Yeah, they're, we lived in. They're super friendly. And it's kind of a joke that it's, it's. Uh, the minute they get in their the car. The minute they get in the car, it's NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, we were we lived in Texas. We're allowed to say that. Yeah. Um, but um, other other places, you know, it's just funny to yeah. see the differences. Yeah between yeah. the states so yeah but 90 95 percent of the time it's all pretty safe and yep there's no issues but uh, every once in a while you know you need to be watching out and be prepared and watch for the weather watch the weather um, if you have a garmin your garmin has live weather tracking uh, of course you can use your phone melissa is always kind of looking ahead where we're going to see if a big storm is coming in or or you know what the what the weather is going to be like, so you're not kind of caught off guard. In that but, though, it's really fun to see the weather change yeah. too, like the big storm. Yeah, you see a and, huge thunderstorm off in the distance rolling in. Yeah, that's always really cool. Be on the outskirts of yeah. tornado. Oh, you might you might <laughs> want to bring an umbrella with you. That's another one. <laughs> when you're when you're parked at the truck stop and you're trying to run in, yeah, you know or. Whatever you're doing, you might want to have an umbrella on board. We've, we've got our own little umbrella and some raincoats. Uh, but, but yeah, the, the road conditions could be is an issue, but overall, most of the time, it's it's smooth sailing. The trucks are prepared. They come with snow chains. Um, you know, we have APU on board, so when it's super hot out, we can always be running our air conditioning when we're parked. Uh, same thing with the heater. Uh, these trucks are equipped to handle, you know, year-round conditions. So, yeah. so that's it for this video. All right. We'll Bye. see you in the next one. Bye.